You ever have a dream where it's just raining glass all around you? Like maybe you're even in a car accident? Well, wake the heck up, clean it up, and now take it to an artist. Join me today as I show you how we use this glass in art. And if you're too impatient to wait, then go to the three minute mark. Now, let's dive in. Hi, and welcome Sea Rockers. I'm glad you're here today. Jumping right in, we're gonna start on our background of this piece. I'm using a gloss gel medium by Liquitex and my palette knife, and I'm just gonna squirt it on here and create some texture. And I'll make sure and let this dry before we go any farther. Now that that's dry, it made some great texture and I'm gonna paint this. I'm gonna use my uh, pouring medium and I'm gonna mix that with some acrylic paint and then I'm gonna add for shimmer some uh, mica powder from eye candy in the, um, I call it a flavor, in <laughs> the flavor of chartreuse. And I'm just gonna spread this across and then wait for this to dry as well. And our board is nice and dry. It's turquoise and it's shimmery and it's perfect. Got lots of texture as well. Be nice contrast for our sea star, which we're gonna put on here. So here's our sea star template. It's cute and sweet and I love the shape of it and it's gonna go perfectly right here or here or here. And that's what I like about the shape is that no matter which way you turn the board, it, it looks great. Ah, but it became one hot mess. And so I went to plan B. And plan B is to trace the template and put some paint on it. Mixed up some colors to create a corally pink. And that's what I did. And we'll add some details at the end. And if you've made it this far, I'd appreciate it if you'd splash that like and follow and notification button. Our little accent colors will be two different shades of orange and neon pink and some white. And super simple, I'm just gonna take my colors and layer them uh, as I go, starting with one and then the next one and so on and so on. <laughs> and it builds up a real nice contrast and detail for our little sea star. little sea stars all dried and I decided to give it a little extra with my Posca marker in gold and just dotted some little accents on there as well. But don't worry our piece isn't done yet. While that's drying I want to tell you about tempered glass. Tempered glass is basically safety glass or some people call it in the art industry, uh, crash glass um, from car crashes. But anyway, this one's actually from my shower door that shattered, <laughs> but it breaks in these little tiny pieces. And so it's safer than a big shard coming at you at 60 miles an hour. But let me share a hack with you. Okay, Ikea, best hack ever. When I, before I moved to Timbuktu, I would order this glass shelf from Ikea, it's a tempered glass shelf. You get it and then you have to break it obviously, but it made much nicer pieces than these big pieces. It's hard to explain, but the, the, the way it breaks is nicer, but you can do any tempered glass. Just go to your glass shop if you need some assistance. I, I recommend it rather than going and sledgehammering your shower door. <laughs> So here's why I just gave you that long-winded lecture on tempered glass. We're going to use it on top of the sea star. 
So piece by piece, you're gonna glue, kind of like a puzzle, your tempered glass onto whatever it is you're, you're doing. In this case, it's our sea star. And I am using a silicone glue because that's what I like using with my tempered glass, but I don't recommend it if you've never used it before because it is messy and gooey and gets everywhere. And you can just use a white PVA glue. It's perfectly fine. It just takes a little longer to dry. Now the little hiccup we have with this piece is that I put texture all over. So now I still have texture where the sea star is, which is no biggie, but when you're trying to lay down glass, it, it makes it a little challenging because it's not flat. <laughs> now don't worry, those crevices will be filled with grout, which will be our next step after this. But look at this pretty close up, all those colors. Oh, the iPhone. <laughs> At least this gives you a nice idea of what it looks like close up. So we're just gonna speed through putting all the glass on the Sea Star and I'll meet you at the other end. Once you've let your glue dry, you're ready to tape things off and spread things out to get ready to grout. We're using a pre-mixed grout. I think I found this at Home Depot and you don't have to do anything to it. The color I'm using today is white and we are gonna mix some of the turquoise acrylic paint into it. So you just pull some grout out, just enough and put it in a little cup or whatever, something disposable. And then you're gonna take a little bit of acrylic paint, not a lot, and add a little bit at a time, because if you use too much, it will affect the integrity of the grout. And for whatever reason, my camera was not picking up the color of the grout too well, but it is a, a light turquoise. It will darken once it cures, but anyway, so you're just gonna spread this on and because the tempered glass has uh, uh, deep crevices, you're gonna have to get in there with your fingers and push the grout down into the crevices. So just make sure you get your sides and uh, just kind of follow what I'm doing here. And now it's time to use our hands. Just spread things out and uh, make sure everything is covered. You don't have any little gaps and make sure to get your side gaps filled in as well. Once you've gotten it all filled in, you're gonna wanna let it dry just for a short period of time, like maybe 10, 15 minutes, just to set up. If you let it go too long, then you're gonna have a hard mess to deal with, literally. And here's a close up of how it should look up to this point. And once you've let that sit a little bit, then you're gonna take a paper towel and get it a little damp or maybe take a little sponge, but not too much water, okay? So, because otherwise you're gonna have a big mess. And then you're just gonna scrub the top off. So all that extra, and this is where I say the magic happens because it's just like magic. It turns into something completely new and different. And most glass artists I know, we detest the grouting part, but we absolutely love this part where you start to reveal what's beneath and how the grout um, just works with it. It's just, it's just magic. I don't know what else to call it. <laughs> and don't forget your sides, whatever tool you're using, uh, just kind of scrape off the sides and get the extra off of there. 
And then you'll go in with your fingers and just smooth everything out on the edges as well. You might need a little water, but just make sure it's all smooth and pretty. And after about an hour, I usually go in and take the tape off because it's much easier to fix the grout when it's wet and you can push it back in. Then if a big dry chunk falls off with your tape, then you have to kind of not start over, but you have to re-grout. It's just a pain in the butt. So better to take it off when it's a little wet when you have the opportunity to fix it. And here you can see where I'm just pushing the grout back in and making sure everything's smooth, that there aren't any little, I don't know, things hanging off or whatever. And now you're gonna let this dry overnight. And here we are the next day and our glass is a mess. It needs a good cleaning. So I usually just take some Windex and some paper towel and some elbow grease and I just go for it. Don't scrape your grout or you can dig a hole into it, although it is pretty, uh, pretty strong. But uh, anyway, I just kind of soak it a little bit and scrub it off. And you have to do maybe two, three, four times. If you happen to use the silicone, you might have to go in with like a toothpick or something sharp to get it off. Um, and just make sure you get all your glue and your grout residue off. And here it is looking much prettier than it was before. And now let's go to our reveal. Here's our pretty pink and turquoise sea star. And it looks pretty good with my seashell collection, don't you think? Say that three times fast. Nonetheless, thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed yourself. <laughs> and I invite you to join the Sea Rocker family. Please like and share and subscribe. And I don't even have to be salty friends. You can join me on my other social media platforms and thanks for watching. Till next time, go beach or go home.